Hey, good morning. Happy 2023. You made it. You made it through 2022. Way to go. Congrats. What are your plans for 2023? I mean, there could be a lot of different uh, things that each of you want to do. How are you going to do them? Usually in January, it's a good time to set up New Year's resolutions. I'm thinking about doing something with all these nesting boxes. What should I do? Not sure. But that's not what we're talking about in terms of New Year's resolutions. We're talking about things that actually change your life, things that will make a big difference. And uh, whether that's um, losing weight, starting a hobby, or perfecting a skill, whatever it is, let's get to it. We'll dive deeper into this video. First off, question for you, what do you do with your old feed sacks? Like, you know, all the animal food that you get for your farm? I'm still trying to figure it out. Breakfast for champions, nest quick. Do you like the nest quick puppy dog? I'm just kidding, it's not really nest quick, it's just a container. Don't throw away containers if you can use them. And obviously, if you can't use a container, junk it or recycle it, but don't keep it. Only keep what you can use. Minimalist um, uh, philosophy. Like I was saying, feed sacks. What do you do with these things? What can you do that's useful with feed sacks? I've thought about putting them as a liner. I mean, this is just all paper and string, and uh, that would decompose, I would think. And so we could put them as a liner in the garden bed. Um, so maybe instead of burning them, maybe I should just stack them up, and then we'll put them there as a liner in the garden bed. Yeah, I'll do that. So we've got a bunch of feed sacks. I need to find a good spot to store them, so that way we can use them in the garden. I'll do that instead of throwing them away because I, I don't like to just burn things up just to do uh, Well, let me rephrase. I do like to burn things up. But if I can use something versus just burning it up, I'd rather use it. Okay, I figured I'd talk to you guys while, um, while I folded these up. What are you all doing? You know, it's just after the new year, and New Year's is a great time for resolutions. And so I guess the question that I have for each of you and for me is, what are we going to do in 2023 to gain more freedom than we had in 2022? You know, what goals are you going to set? What are you working towards? Are you working towards, um, you know, financial freedom, spiritual freedom? Um, we just watched a little documentary last night about these, uh, the, these fantastic families. There were three families, and they were in, uh, in an organization, a spiritual organization, that they um, preferred to not be in. And so they sought to find out what God's will was for them and what Jesus' will was for them. And they found it, and it was really hard, and it was a big struggle for them. But they did what was necessary to gain spiritual freedom. And they said they wouldn't change it at all. All the, all the shunning, all the different um, obstacles that they went through, they, uh, they wouldn't change it. So... What are you going to do to gain more freedom this year? Um, let's talk about financial freedom. If you are not happy with where you're at currently financially, what are you going to do differently? Because if you don't do something differently this year than you did last year, do you think something different is going to happen? Do you think you're going to be in a different position in 2023 than you were in 2022 if you don't make a change? The answer is no. You'll be in the same position. So if you're like barely making it from paycheck to paycheck or if you are um, not even making it to the next paycheck, you need to do something dramatically different this year than you did last year. Um, otherwise, you'll be in the same situation next January saying, Man, what can I do if my life is just, you know, whatever it is you tell yourself, you don't want that um, to be the same thing. And if it's happened year after year, you owe it to yourself to make a change. Please, do it for yourself and for your kids. Teach them what it's like to, to make these kind of positive changes. 
Um, whether it's if you're spending too much money and you're spending more than you make, don't do that. If it's um, you're not able to achieve your financial dreams because, um, I don't know, some kind of an addiction that is um, consuming all your resources, work to stop that. I know addictions are hard, otherwise they wouldn't be called addictions, but work to stop it and then you can have true freedom. Speaking of addictions, like, talk about the um, antagonist of freedom. Like if you, you know, if you have, uh, if you're addicted to, let's just pick Kool-Aid, right? Because it's pretty non-offensive. If you, uh, if you're addicted to Kool-Aid and you can't function without Kool-Aid, what happens if you don't have any more Kool-Aid? Then you're going to be a wreck, and then you're not going to be free. So, window there. Um, so anyway, break these addictions so that way you can. Um, be free. And I think if you don't have freedom, then all the other stuff doesn't really matter. So there's my rant on freedom. Get it. It is so amazing when you're free and you don't have the bondage of um, whatever it is that's holding you back. Then. mind will be open to thinking about things that you currently don't think about and therefore that's holding you back. So search for freedom, whether it's spiritual freedom, emotional freedom. Speaking of emotional freedom, we, um, we talk to our kids all the time and it's very simplistic what we say. To work with our kids, you got to have to make it a little bit uh, more simplistic. So, okay, let's take the emotion of sadness. You know, you can either let sadness consume you, where all you think about is things that are sad, or you can say, you know what, this emotion of sadness is a valuable emotion, and I will partake in this emotion for a set period of time. After that, I'm going to move on, and I'm not going to let sadness rule my life. And again, that's easy to say, a lot harder to do, but if you start practicing now, I mean, sadness is just one example, but you get the point, hopefully. But if you start practicing now, then you'll be able to free yourself from the bondage of sinking deep into depression due to thinking about um, sad things too much. You know, I realize that there are um, mental illnesses out there that are not a result of you just thinking about something too much or... or um, worrying about the wrong thing. So I'm not talking about those. What I am talking about is when we start to think about, man, this thing went wrong, and therefore this thing went wrong, and then this thing went wrong, and then before you know it, like everything is wrong and everything is bad. That is not the position you want to be in. And if you just stop it with this thing went wrong, like the first thing, then um, then that stops the chain of dominoes, and you said this thing went wrong. Oh wait, but this thing went right, and you start looking for the things that went right or the things that are good, and all of a sudden this downward spiral turns into an upward spiral, and you start looking for the good in this world. So, emotional freedom, spiritual freedom, physical freedom. You know, we've got to search for it. And January is a great time to. Um, to search for that freedom, to obtain that freedom, and to finally give yourself what you deserve. You know, so many people, you know, I think it's so hilarious, like they're working really hard around the clock, and they, um, like, I mean, this, like I've talked to so many people that are in this boat, they're working, speaking of boat, they're working around the clock, crazy hard, and then they get a, a raise at work. Okay, so say the raise. I mean, say it's not insignificant. Say it's like 50 grand a year or something. Well, they say, oh, I've been working so hard. I deserve a new boat. Nothing wrong with having a boat, right? If you're going to use it and if it's really, like if you got money for it and all that kind of stuff. But a lot of people that I've talked to don't have the money for it and aren't going to use it. But they just have this dream 
about using a boat and the family vacations and the togetherness that they're going to experience in this boat or in said boat and then all of a sudden they get the boat and they don't use it and it becomes just a burden for them because boats are expensive. Uh, I'm not really slamming boats, I'm slamming anything that you think you're going to buy this thing and all of a sudden you're going to achieve um, some level of happiness that you currently don't have. So if you do get a raise, say you get a raise for New Year's or something, you know, you worked a little bit longer there, inflation's through the roof, and so the company feels nice and gives you a little raise or even a big raise, don't just go and blow it. Think to yourself, I deserve to not spend this money on this frivolous thing, but I deserve to invest this money in myself. Try that. It will change your life. It did mine. Um, because I found that material stuff doesn't buy happiness. It just doesn't do it. You will be the same person after you buy that thing, whatever that thing is, whether it's a boat or something else, that you were before you bought it. Let's say it's a brand new car. You think, oh, my life is going to be... The li your life will be the same, and after a few weeks, the car will just be a car and not a brand new car. Now, you'll probably still appreciate it, and you'll probably appreciate the, the um, lack of breakdowns and all that kind of stuff, but it won't make you a different person to have that car uh, or that whatever it is. So, lesson for today, while I'm sitting in here folding up feed sacks. <laughs> Some people might not view that as freedom. Again, from a previous video, we all have our own definition of freedom. I've been reading a lot of forums where people are like, hey, I'm, I'm a, I just read one this morning where the, the lady said, hey, I'm a nurse, and I'm just tired of, you know, whatever it was she was tired of. And so she said, I just want to work on the farm all day. And this other guy said, hey, I'm in IT, and I just want to work on the farm all day. And so it seems like people want to do this kind of thing because of how fulfilling it is. I don't blame you. I'm doing it. Um, I could fix this or just chunk it. I think I'm just going to chunk it. You could want something, but if you don't make a change in your life, you will not get it. Most of the time. Every once in a while you might win the lottery or something like that, but it's very rare. So, I highly recommend it. For your sake, 2023, look for freedom, make positive changes towards that freedom, and your life will be blessed. Your life will be blessed. Dramatically blessed. Thanks for dialing in. Isn't that a funny phrase? Thanks for dialing in. It's almost like you called into this video with a rotary phone which a lot of you may not even have ever used a rotary phone so I'm gonna I'm gonna change this I was gonna say thanks for tuning in but tuning in is kinda like tuning your television station towards the right one and you probably don't do that either thanks for watching hope to see you next time again like subscribe follow the videos Join us on the farm.